Hello everyone. Alright, so I'm bad at info, so you probably read the title and saw the thumbnail. So. Alright, so we're making Pokemon Diamond Remake with RTX enabled. Since Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum uh, is my uh, favorite generation, Gen 4, because I grew up with that, I played that those games a lot i have some sort of connection with them so you know and since the remake is i think it's already out by the time i release this video shining diamond and brilliant pearl or something like that uh, vice versa or something and the the legend arceus or arceus legends you know uh is also coming i wanted to celebrate that by remaking the original Sino game uh, it's not gonna be that expensive. I'm just gonna be creating the initial area. So yeah, let's start. Alright, before we start, I gotta drug up my memory so and collect a bit of resources on the game. So Alright, <laughs> now that we are through that, let's start uh, by getting the models and animation for our player character from Mixmo. To be honest, Mixmo is the best site if you're a game developer who likes 3D games. Alright, so now that we've found our guy, I decided to go with this guy and I've added him to the game and I also implemented everything to make him work. So now, let's make the main part of the game which is finding Pokemon and catching them, also finding them, uh, in tall grass. <laughs> so, I wrote a bunch of code. Obvious, right? After all that, we have this. If the player enters the grass area, then it would just print a message to the log saying which Pokemon we have encountered. Yay, I guess. So, now let's make it so that every time I enter the grass, it loads the battle area. So I quickly hopped over to Photoshop and quickly whipped up this loading screen area. So once that we are done with that, let's implement it. And I'm going to add a slider to show the progress of the loading bar. So while we're in the topic of UI, uh, let's quickly make the UI for the battle area. It's not going to be much. It's just going to be the bare minimum with the player and enemy stat bars and the player's input area. So now let's talk Pokemon. Since I'm not gonna just sit here and model all the Pokemon that I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna download the models from uh, older games, from the RIP archives on the internet. You can find anything on the internet nowadays. So uh, in the game, I'm only at three Pokemon, uh, four Pokemons, the three initial starters, Piplup, Turtwig, and Chimchar, Turtwig being my favorite. And no Sino game remake is ever going to be complete without our Lord and Savior, Lord Bidoof. So we gotta add him in there. So I started by rigging and animating the Chimchar. The, this is what he does. I swear he's not inviting you for a good time. Is attacking his enemies all right I did the same thing for the other two as well and here is the game so far after I implemented them when I press attack the attack animation is played all right after that I added in a bunch more UI UX stuff and a few more cleanup and refinements and this is what it looks like now now then I now have everything else but proper grass. So I quickly hopped over to Blender and created a fairly simple grass model. Spoilers, I'm not gonna be using this later on. Uh, but I gotta be honest, it actually looks fairly decent and good, but it has a high poly count. Okay, so I also added a feature to catch the wild Pokemons as well. So now I can have up to four guys in my team, which is just the perfect number of buttons I can have in the UI without making it look weird. So here is what it looks like so far. Alright, after that I whipped up a few effects for the attacks that the Pokemons do. Uh, I just use Unity's particle system for it 
and I also added the status text after each move as well so now that the game is coming along really nicely this is what it looks like so far okay so now I need to make the type advantage stuff so bit more coding on my part and now we have this Yeah, now that the core features are all done, I've added a few more attack effects for the attacks that I left out previously. And now after adding the sounds from the original game, we have an almost done game on our hands. Uh, uh, a quick note, uh, this is me from the future. Okay, I was apparently listening to Spotify while recording this uh, video clip. So yeah, the sound effects. I talked about they are mostly unusable in this video clip uh, this is only for this clip so yeah forgive me okay now after all that was done uh, let's finish it off by making the environment I'm gonna create the first three areas of the Sino region that we start off with the twin leaf village or uh, twin leaf town or village it's twin leaf village right yeah twin leaf route 201 and Sanjim's uh, town Sanjem Town, right here, yeah, Sanjem Town. Alright, so uh, let's speed through the creation process. And now we have the final product. This is my 20 days worth of hard work just compressed down to this. This actually has like 7700 lines of code I believe. So yeah, but still the main part is yet to come. Enjoy this non-RTX version first. Alright, so that was without the RTX. Now if you know this channel, then you know that now we've got to break it, right? So, here we go. Alright, so uh, this really isn't that bad. It works perfectly fine and no lag whatsoever. I tested it on my 3060 Ti as well as the 2060. It uh, performed really well on both. It had no lag and... Uh, okay. I'm really bad at outros and it's now time to do that so yeah enjoy the video uh, enjoy the RTX version of the game and I'm gonna leave you that enjoy it at your own pace I guess YouTube will say all right like comment and subscribe ring the bell as well I think yeah whatever I missed out sure see you later